Hi guys, welcome back to Fancy Pants Makeup where we put on our fancy pants and play with some makeup. Today I am going to do a Valentine's Day look that is not pink, red, purple, any of that stuff. I kind of take that back. There is like a little bit of like a pink gold look. If you can see here, I've swatched the colors that I'm going to use. So it's going to be more of a natural look, but this right here, if you can see how it changes with the colors, the Natasha Denoa, there it goes. See how it goes from pink to gold liquid eyeshadow. So we're going to be using that, um, but it's more of like a sultry, natural Valentine's Day look. I've already put my brows on and I've already set my eyes. So we'll go ahead and go straight into the eye makeup and then um, we'll fast forward through my face. Okay, so most of my shades are gonna be coming out of the Scott Barnes Snatural palette. Um, the first one I'm going to get into is Foxy, Foxy Lady. Um, and I'm just gonna grab a very small flat brush um, because we are gonna be end up doing a cut crease and so this is just gonna give me a lot more control and I'm gonna just take this look, this eyeshadow, the Foxy, there she is, um, right along my brow bone and tap it up. And if you look down, if you see where my natural fold is, my crease, we're gonna take it just above that and I like to take my mirror and then look down. And as you see, with very light pressure, I'm just gonna start to shape it out and just tap it in. I'm not swiping, I'm tapping. And it doesn't have to look perfect or precise because we are gonna blend it out. And then so, okay, you see how I looked at it with a relaxed eye. Um, I'm gonna bring it up just a little higher around here. So that's something that you always wanna do is whenever you're doing your makeup, um, you always wanna double check and look what it sees like with a relaxed eye because that's what it's gonna look like in the end. So I'm bring this part up just a little higher and just tapping it in. Oh. Whoops, that's okay. Because we are going to be cleaning it up so that doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to continue to just keep tapping this um, and as you can see, now I'm going to take it, whereas when I was tapping it straight on with the brush, now I'm going to kind of take the side of the brush and tap it and it will blend itself up and transition itself up, um, without me having to do a lot of work. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that and I'll fast forward through that part. Just remember, just keep tapping, tapping, tapping. Don't swipe, just tap.
Okay, now that we've patted that down, and it's kind of, as you see, it transitioned and blended itself out, we are going to grab a fluffier brush, and we are going to add this shade and put it just above our brow bone and above this and kind of tap it into this as well. It will blend the two looks together as well as set um, our brow bone. And this is in shade Vintage. So let me go ahead and grab my little fluffier brush. And again, oh, balls. So just starting here, light pressure, and just tapping it with that brown medium shade that we have started, and then just up through the brow bone. There's like a 45% chance that one of my kids is going to come and interrupt, which is fine. This is a family thing. Um, I would say it's usually more of like a 75% chance, but I'm letting them play Minecraft, which I don't... I don't understand that game, and I don't understand why kids like it so much. It's so boring. I guess it's kind of like Legos, but on video game? I don't know. I don't understand it. Okay. So I'm just continuing to tap that in. Mom, oh, my there we go. My name is Punch Eyeball now. Okay. So I have a son, his name used to be Kenneth, and now it is Punch Eyeball. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a cool band name. Oh, here it mm -hmm. Emily's friend's name is Staff Knarf. Staff Knarf? Yeah, Staff Knarf. My daughter has a friend who used to be named Destiny and is now named Staff Knarf. Children are a blessing. All right, for the fun part. So now I've already set my eyes with um, the Anissa concealer or eye primer, excuse me, and it does crease, um, but that's okay. Like we haven't set it yet, so it is going to crease. So all we have to do is go back in with our brush this is the Anissa Spot Treatment Brush. Um, Rose from Rose and Ben made me buy it. As much as she uses it, I was just like, oh, okay, fine, I have to have it. I have to have it. Um, there's actually a couple brushes. My concealer brush and my foundation brush also <laughs> came from Anissa, and Rose from Rose and Ben totally made me buy it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. And this is the Natasha Denoa Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow. And like I said, as you can see, it shifts colors with the different lighting. And this is the shade Infra Nude. So it does come with an an applicator, an applic. applicator but I'm also going to I'll put it on with the applicator but I'm going to define it with a flat brush the MAC 242 S I'm just gonna swipe this oh god is there anything Natasha cannot do well we all know she definitely can do duo, trio, whatever chrome, liquid shadows. Like, I just want every single shade. I want every single shade. I mean, look at that already. Look at those golden over here, pink over here. And I'm gonna bring this up to the crease. 
like a little above my crease, just where the brown starts. Here he comes again. Anyways, old Anyways name is my old name, Kenneth. That's her new name. Oh, okay. So my daughter's name was Emily, but now it's my son's old name, Kenneth. I wonder if I'll get renamed. I'm just going to tap this into, press it into the skin, the eyelid, and then just kind of bring it up here slightly. And sometimes it looks like I'm swiping, but I swear I'm just patting the whole time. We're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna clean this line up. So when I relax my eyes, you can see it brings that brown down but there is a little space right there, just a little line. And so I'm just going to lightly blend this color into that line. And so it just melts into this gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic, marvelous, miraculous chrome liquid shadow. So I'm going to go back with... Um, my small brush. This is a Sephora brush, uh, Pro Shader 18. I feel like uh, working with smaller brushes, um, it does take a little longer for application, but it does give you more control. I am holding my brush down here because I just want the slightest amount of pressure. Once again, just patting it in. Swiper, no swiping. So I thought I was like, maybe I should tell like a funny story or something. I feel like I have a few of those. And I was thinking the other day, I was telling someone this story the other day about my hamster fiasco. There's no other way to put it. It's a hamster fiasco growing up. And so I remember, um, when I was like seven or eight, I got a hamster for Christmas. And my dad, who is my favorite person in the world, um, his name is John. And so I named my hamster John. Because like I said, dad, love, favorite person. So I got John, right, my hamster or whatever, and my sister, whose name, was Emily, oh no, they're fighting. So my sister's name, who was Emily, also got a hamster and she named her hamster Mimily. Okay, so obviously we are real creative when it comes up with names. I'm taking a blending brush with no product on it and I'm just gonna blend this out, circular motions. Anyways, so I got John, and she got Mimily, and within like two weeks, Mimily had a stroke and was paralyzed um, on the entire left side of her. It's not funny. It's a little funny. She was paralyzed on the entire left side of her body, so whenever she would like walk around, she could only walk like in a circle and it was very slow. Like Mimily did not get around much and when she did, it was just in a circle. And so um, that's what happened to my sister's hamster. Well, with John, um, 
I don't know, my sister came to me with the idea, my sister was two years older than me, and she came to the, me with the idea that, you know, we should give John a marshmallow as a treat. Um, because he was such a good hamster. And it was a mini marshmallow, so we'll give her we'll give ourselves that. We were young, whatever. And um we ended up giving him a marshmallow. Well marshmallows expand in the stomach and he died from his stomach exploding. So um I was devastated because John, my hamster, not my dad, died and I felt like a murderer. So, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna grab some tools, I'll be right back and we will continue on with the hamster fiasco. But so far, Mimily had a stroke, John died from stomach explosion via mini marshmallow. She rises from the smoke. Okay, anyways, so where were we? Emily and John. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take, I probably should have taken my bracelet off before this, so it would have made it a lot easier. Um, we're gonna take this darkest shade color here, and that is called Woody. Woody's Roundup. A huge Toy Story fan. Huge Pixar fan. I watch those movies even when like my kids aren't home. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the Scott Barnes 63 brush to go ahead and make the outer V of my eye. I know this looks a little messy, but we're gonna clean it up. We always do, so don't worry about that. All right, so after John died, I was devastated to say the least, right? And so my dad, John, <laughs> took me to the pet store and I bought, um, we got, I got another hamster and I got one that looked exactly like John, like same color and everything. And I named him John Jr. So now I have John Jr. Mimily is still kicking it with her stroke still walking around in circles and um John so after this I <laughs> I wanted to protect my hamsters from death right I wanted to protect John Jr. and when I had gotten baptized at like six or something they gave me a little bottle of holy water and I don't know why, but it was one of like those like squirt bottles that you could like squirt. So when I got John Jr., I squirted him with some holy water to protect him um, from death. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. So John Jr., um, you know, he was around for I'd say about a month and a half, maybe two months. And then um, I decided, I was like, oh, he wants to run around in his little ball. You know, the little balls that you can put them in and they run around the house with or whatever without getting lost. And so uh, I did that, but I had forgotten to put the gate up on the stairs. And John Jr. rolled down the stairs in the ball and to his untimely death. That one was on me, 100%. So, once again, I'm devastated. Now I'll, I have killed two hamsters. And so, my dad, being the perfect person that he is, took me once again to the store, the pet store, and I got another hamster that looked exactly like the first two, and I named him you guessed it, John the Third. Well, I hadn't given up on the holy water idea. So this time I really 
like I really squirted, like I doused John the Third in holy water. Y'all wanna listen to my kids argue for a minute? I don't. Anyways, so I'm getting um, my bl blending brush. I'm just gonna blend this out into here, into the crease and a little out here and a little in here. And I'm holding it at the at the very end so I have a lot more control. I'm going straight on circular motions, light pressure. Here he comes. Ay. Ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. I'm so, so hungry today. I'm hungry today. All right, then get your snack. But, but, but in the kitchen there's all school snacks. It's fine, you can have a school snack. I'll buy you more. But can you open this one for me, please? Ask your sister. Yeah, but she won't want. But she still wants. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Sorry. Had to put some kids in their place. Anyways, so I doused John the Third in holy water, thinking maybe I just didn't use enough the first time. And so John the Third um, was doing good. You know, I was very cautious with the ball situation and putting gates up, not feeding him um, unhamster approved snacks, and um, he, was doing, he was doing good. I mean, for a good few months, the holy water was working, or so I thought. Okay, so. I had noticed that there is something weird about John the Third's. How do I put this nicely? His bean bags, his uh, dingleberries. His mm, that's not the word. His balls. His balls um, had gotten ginormous, and so my dad, once again, being the perfect person. Um, I'm going to go ahead, <laughs> before we talk about John the Third Falls, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some brown eyeliner. I'm going to wing it out. Um, I have the Inglot, um, it's, I don't know, it's the brown one, and I have the Inglot Duraline. I'm just going to put one drop in here and use my nail artist brush to use for my eyeliner. So my dad being the saint that he is, um, I don't think most people would do this for a hamster, especially with my record when it comes to hamsters. But my dad um, took him to the vet and it turns out that John the third had testicular cancer. Live strong. And so instead of it just being like, you know, like, I, I remember like going to the vet and the vet had like this itty bitty teeny tiny, it was the cutest, like, like something you would use on a Barbie doll. Maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. But he had like the smallest little stethoscope and he was using it on John the Third, And um, so naturally I was very upset. Um, holy water is not working. I'm starting to lose faith. Um, I don't know why my hamsters keep dying. <laughs> so most, I feel like most people would just kind of like let their hamster that has testicular cancer just kind of live his days out. But my dad, once, oh, like I got so caught up in talking about my hamster's balls that I almost forgot to clean up my edge. So my dad, being the saint that he is, I mean, we didn't give him like chemo or anything, you know, we didn't like treat him that way. But I think there was like a little medicine that like my dad got and would give him or whatever, um, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't remember that so vividly, but what I do vividly remember is that my dad would have to take John the Third every night and um, like before I went to bed 
and he would have to drain his balls. <laughs> I'm gonna mess up my edge laughing at that. So my dad would, would take him and pretty much like, like squeeze his balls and drain like all the excess fluid or whatever was in there out of his balls every night. Like I said, a saint, a saint this man is. What other dad would do that, right? Drain your hamster's balls every night um, because he has testicular cancer. Live strong. So, um, he lived for quite a, a, a little while longer after that. Um, but eventually, you know, he did end up dying of testicular cancer. And this whole time, I might just mention, it's it's been like a couple years now. Like, I'm on Hamster 3. I'd say it's been about two, maybe three years that this has happened. And Mimily, who had a stroke within two weeks, is still kicking it. Right? I don't know, like, the, life, the average lifespan of a hamster, but I know it's not, like very long so all right, make sure y'all can see me while I do this so your girl's upset um this time it like wasn't my fault but I was still upset and I was just like why does <laughs> Why, God, why? I, I doused him in holy water. He was soaking wet. And so we go to, you guessed it, the pet store. And we buy another hamster. And you guessed it, it looked just like um, my first three hamsters. And I don't know if you can see a pattern here yet or not, but I named the hamster John the fourth. Now, this hamster was doing just fine. In fact, and I did do the holy water on John the fourth as well. I mean, I think I used like the rest of the bottle on John the fourth. I was like, I cannot handle another dead hamster so soon. Like, like I don't know if I have another one in me. And so John the fourth, I'm just gonna bring this liner. I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the corner. Um, I'm just gonna bring it like right about here and do like a little baby liner. So John the fourth ended up surprising us and had babies. Shocker. Um. I could not have been more excited. Not only did I have a hamster, but now I had a hamster with little itty bitty hamster babies, which aren't that cute actually. They kind of look like green, not green. I don't know why I said green, like pink. I don't know, little monsters, but I was like, oh my God, now I have like six hamsters and I get to raise these little hamster babies. And I mean, y'all, I cannot tell you, I have never been more excited in my little, probably this time, 10 year old life. Like I could not stop talking about these, these little baby hamsters. I was gonna have all these hamsters. I needed a bigger cage. I was gonna extend their little tubes or whatever, like, happy little baby family and everything and um we'll get to that tragedy in one second okay so with a pencil brush i'm just going to go ahead and grab that medium shade that we put right above our or right on our brow bone foxy and i'm just going to put it right here on the outer and then i'm going to use that uh, the Natasha Genoa Chromium, the liquid eyeshadow on the rest of my bottom lid. Okay, so John the Fourth had babies. Your girl was beyond excited. I thought the holy water had worked. It's magic. Like karma coming back, 
just just so ready you know like I'm sorry for all your previous hamsters deaths we are here to revive all of them into these little hamster babies that kind of uh, I don't know just look up what a baby hamster looks like they look really gross but I was excited as to what they were going to grow into so I had like told like you know whatever it was back in the day you know so that's when kids had friends like actually in the neighborhood and they like played in the neighborhood every day together or whatever until you know the lamp post went out or your mom just like screamed your name and you went home and so um I went and I told all my friends or whatever we're all hanging out we're all super excited about you know John the fourth and I was didn't change a name by the way didn't change a name it didn't matter that John the fourth was a girl she remained to be named John the fourth I'm just picking this up off it with my pencil brush and so um yeah your girl went to bed extreme like ecstatic just so grateful to anything holy out there that this miracle happened um and by miracle i mean just us the the pet store guy telling us yes this is a boy and being mistaken so the next morning i woke up and John the fourth had eaten all her babies. So here's where my, here's where the prejudice against uh, God and religion starts to set in. John the fourth had eaten all her babies. I woke up. To literally a bloody mess of this cage and I mean she was happy she got a great midnight snack her own freaking children like five of them I'm surprised her stomach didn't explode you're telling me like a mini marshmallow takes out original John and five human not human <laughs> hamsters aren't human FYI and I am going to be a teacher one day. She's going to be a teacher, y'all. But yeah, so a mini marshmallow took out original John, but you're telling me that five baby hamsters is not going to make John the Fourth stomachs explode? I was so upset. I gave her away. Fuck that bitch. And uh, that that was that was the end of my hamsters. I was done. I was done. I hit my breaking point. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't handle another heartbreak. Um, and so that was the end of my hamsters. And that's, that's my hamster story. And you know what? After all that, after all that fucking, I'm telling you, every single time I do my makeup, I drop a cap every time. And I'm going to point it out every time. I'm gonna go in with my waterline with a nude liner and I'm gonna fast forward through my lashes, but I am going to be using the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline. Amazing. And I'm gonna to top it off with these uh, Bold Face Lashes. These are in Sassy Since Birth, which I have been. You can ask my dad. John the human not the dead hamsters so yeah so that was uh the story of of all my hamsters and yeah throughout all of this Memily who had a stroke within two weeks could only walk in circles her whole left side of her body was paralyzed um she ended up living to be like something stupid like 11 or 12 years old like my, <laughs> and I couldn't keep a hamster alive for six months.
sassy since birth? Um, yes, she is. <laughs> A little too sassy, maybe? I already cut this one down. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this one down. I feel like if I just wear these lashes, you're not gonna be able to see the beautiful shadows that I've done. Yes, son. Thank you. That's lovely. This is totally safe. Guys, don't worry. I'm just gonna cut these down a little. I've never actually <laughs> had to cut eyelashes before. I was not prepared for all that sass. I thought I was sassy. Obviously, I was not. I am not sassy enough. But yeah, pointed scissors real close to your eyes. That's it's fine. It's fine. It's completely fine. There, I mean, what could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Oh, especially at this angle, right? But yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think that's. A <laughs> I think that's a little bit of just wipe those dead sassies away. Okay. So here's the finished eye look. Here comes my son again, I'm sure. <sighs> They're still so sassy. <laughs> They're so sassy. Okay, I'm gonna do my face. I'm gonna fast forward through it.
Y'all, I just want to say um, this brush, this, this is the Pinnacle, I believe, brush from Anissa. Um, my God, it is so good. Usually I have to go in with a brush and then go back in with a damp, I already had it ready, damp beauty sponge to go over. And there is no need to go, I'm just, I'm just tapping this foundation into my skin and there is no streaky, streaking, there's no clumping, there's no cakiness whatsoever. There's no need for me to use this beauty sponge. Um, I highly recommend it. And um, yeah, uh, like I said, Rose from Rose and Ben. Um, she has a YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, all that. And I think they're all named Rose and, Rose and Ben. Um, if you just watch her stuff, she has discount codes with this company. And wow, look at that. That looks amazing. I think I'm in love. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to fast forward again. Also the Anissa Concealer Brush, amazing. I don't have to go back in with the Beauty Blender. And usually I really, really, really need that damp Beauty Blender after I put concealer under my eyes because I have such dry skin, especially in my eye area. And this is just not. And I think, don't quote me on it, it won some sort of award for best concealer brush. I know that it did, but I don't know from who. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely check out these brushes. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's pretty, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Let's go.
I'm sorry. Good night, Miss Tilbury. Uh, this is the first time I've used the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and do you see how blurring it is? Oh my god. I know that age is just a number and mine is 37, but it is making me look at least 27. What the fuck? I'm in love. Okay. That powder just, I'm still in awe. That powder just really put everything together. I mean, look at that. I said, look at it. Look at it. Wow. Wow. Charlotte Tilbury, you sneaky, beautiful bitch. Okay, lips. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in for a brown lip. So I'm just have, <laughs> one day I will shoot a video where I don't drop something. Okay, going in with three different products. I'm going in with the Kylie, nope, I lied. House Laboratories Lip Liner in shade Rule. And then I'm going to go over that with my ColourPop Lippy Stick in this shade grunge and then i'm going to top it off with the lime crime um it's like a metallic gloss named cherished
So there we go. That's our finished look. Let me pin my hair back so y'all can see this better. This is our more natural, sultry Valentine's Day look with, oh, a lash that's coming off. Um, a bit too sassy eyelashes that I had to cut down. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do this. I hope you can see the shift in colors of that chrome eyeshadow. It's just so beautiful. And that Charlotte Tilbury powder, oh my, 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 am I gonna be using that every single day of my life? And this brown lip, she be popping. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me, playing with some makeup. I am dedicating this look to John, John Jr., John the Third, not John the Fourth. Fuck that bitch.